Hello guys, in today's video we are going to discuss the chemical compound furan. Furan is an heterocyclic organic compound consisting of a five membered aromatic ring as you can see right here 1 2 3 4 5 which has one oxygen. So it's a heterocyclic organic compound because all the members of the chain are not carbon molecules. So it has a heteroatom of oxygen in it. Chemical compound containing such ring are also referred to as furans. So if another compound has this ring as a component, it is referred to as a furan derivative. It is uh, it has systematic IUPAC names such as 14 epoxy buta 13 diene, 1 oxacyclopenta 24 diene. But the preferred IUPAC name remains furan. Every compound has a unique preferred IUPAC name, and for this compound, it is furan. It's also known by other names such as oxdol, oxa 5 aniline. 14 epoxy 13 butadiene. You can look at the other names here as well. Now let's look at how it got the name. The name Furan comes from the Latin furfur, which means bran. Bran, also known as Miller's bran, is the hard outer layer of cereal grain. So this is how it got the name. The first Furan derivative to be described was 2 furoic acid by Carl William Skeel in 1780. Another important derivative for furan was reported by John Wolfgang Daubener in 1831 and characterized nine years later by John Stenhaus. Furan itself was first prepared by Heinrich Limprit in 1870, although he called it tetraphenol. The word tetraphenol comes because uh, the phenol compound was known and this was like a four carbon analog to the phenol compound. Now let's look at the production. Industrially, furan is maintained, manufactured by the palladium catalyzed decarbonylation of furan or by the copper catalyzed oxidation of 1,3-butadiene. So this is this pathway right here is the copper catalyzed oxidation of 1,3-butadiene, and this pathway is the palladium catalyzed decarbonylation of furan. So this uh, compound is furan. In the laboratory, furan can be obtained from furfural by oxidation to 2 furoic acid followed by decarboxylation. It can also be prepared directly by thermal decomposition of pentose containing materials and cellulosic solids, especially pine wood. Uh, here, thermal decomposition refers to the decomposition in the presence of heat, hence the word thermal. Synthesis of furan has many procedures such as the feast binary synthesis it is a classic way and many new ways have also been developed in the recent days one of the simplest synthesis method for furan is the reaction of 1,4 diketones with phosphorus pentoxide in the pal nor synthesis the thiophene formation reaction of 1,4 diketone with lawessence reagent also forms furans as side products many routes exist for the synthesis of substituted furans as well so you can see it's a very important compound and many ways have been discovered for its production. Now let's look at the chemistry. Furan is aromatic because one of the lone pairs of on the oxygen atom is delocalized into the ring creating a 4n plus 2 aromatic system. A 4n plus 2 means that there are uh, 6 pi electrons which can be represented as 4n plus 2. So this is similar to benzene because it also has 6 pi electrons. Because of aromaticity, the molecule is flat and lacks discrete double bonds. The lack of discrete double bonds means that the double bonds are delocalized. Because of the aromaticity uh, we did this, the other lone pair of electrons of the oxygen atom extend in the plane of the flat ring system. The sp2 hybridization is to allow one of the lone pair of oxygen to reside in a p orbital and thus allow it to interact within the pi system. So this is the structural and the uh, molecular uh, description of furan. Now let's look at its behavior. Furan's behavior is quite dissimilar to that of more typical heterocyclic ethers such as tetrahydrofuran which is due to its aromaticity. The aromaticity uh, increases its reactivity and makes it much more stable. It is considerably more reactive than benzene in electrophilic substitution reaction due to electron donating effect of the oxygen heteroatom. Examination of the resonance contributors show the increased electron density of the ring leading to increased rate of electrophilic substitution. So you can see the lone pair of the electrons, the lone pair of the oxygen, uh, 
uh, increase the electron density at different locations. Uh, the lone pair comes at every position at least once. Hence, you can clearly see that it increases the rate of electrophilic substitution. Because in electrophilic substitution, the attacking group loves electron density and due to this lone pair, it's easier for it to attack. Now, let's look at the safety concerns regarding furan. Furan is found in heat treated commercial foods and is produced through thermal degradation of natural food constituents. It can be found in roasted coffee, instant coffee and processed baby foods as well. Research have indicated that coffee made in espresso makers and above all coffee made from capsules contain more furan than made in traditional drip coffee makers. Although the levels are still within safe health limits, so it's not uh, as much of a health concern because both of them can be used for human consumption. Uh, exposure to furan at doses about 2000 times the projected level of human exposure from food increases the risk of hepatocellular tumors in rats and mice. So when they conducted experiments and got these observations. They also noticed bile duct tumors in rats. Hence furan is therefore listed as a possible human carcinogen. But as you can see it the doses was around 2000 times the projected level of human exposure from foods. Hence, it is still a possible human carcinogen and no conclusive studies in human or uh, no conclusive reports of human carcinogenic effects at low doses have been observed as of now. It is quite good because uh, furan is quite an important industrial compound and it is used in uh, a lot of things as I mentioned before.